guys welcome to or welcome back to my youtube channel my name is brianna and if you're watching this you're one of three people you're either someone who's considering going to girl state or are you you're, um, you're going sometime in your future and you want to see what the experience is like you're either one of my fellow girl staters who went with me and y'all were all waiting for this vlog to come out or you're just someone that supports my content and watches everything i post even though it might not have anything to do with you um if you're the third person thank you you're very much appreciated but um, for all those other people who want to get into it, let's get straight into the video. So I spent the majority of last week at um, Girl State, which if you guys don't know, it's a program where um, girls in their junior year of high school attend some college and you learn a lot about um, governmental laws and muni municipal laws. Um, it's basically a little bit of poli-sci, you know, it's good exposure to that type of stuff. There are elections and you're put into a city or a town and you just have all types of fun and learn about like the American government basically. Okay, so before we even get into the trip and like what happened during the trip, I know I'm dragging this out, I'm sorry guys, but before we even get into the trip, right, I just wanted to give a few like tips. Packing, um, they give you like a little like um, list in the welcome letter when you're officially like registered into the program and they, when they give you your building and your, um, your, your city or town and stuff like that. Um, they, they give you like this general little list, but it was it was a little bit too casual for me So I made my own checklist in like my notes app in my phone and I'll probably have it on the screen somewhere I feel like it's a little bit more in depth and it, it, it was more catered to me and how I packed But I feel like the information is more specific to what you're gonna need during the trip One thing I'll also say about the packing is that they recommend for you to have a few casual outfits um, I took a few as like 12 because <laughs> Yeah, um, I just took a few as like 12. Um, they give you two Girl State uniforms, um, not uniforms, they're like shirts, but you know, it's, it's the attire that you're supposed to wear while you're there. They give you two of, those, um, two of those shirts to wear the entire time while at Girl State. So you kind of alternate between them. They do laundry like every night. So you just, you, you wear one, you wash it, and then you wear the other one, it's like a cycle. But um, you don't really need lots of casual outfits unless like you're doing like sports and stuff because like sports, um, when you're playing sports, they have like a bunch of different options at the campus. When you're playing sports, you can have like athletic wear or um, other stuff that you feel comfortable like running and sweating in. Um, so there's that. The last day though, we were allowed to like wear um, wh whatever we wanted. I mean, still within the um, the, the guidelines and the um, rule of the tire but we, we were allowed to um, wear like whatever shirt that we wanted so you could have a shirt for that but I wouldn't say like uh, don't go too crazy on the casual outfits like I did because like I said I packed like 12 we were there for seven days I packed like 12 and like I only wore a, I, I don't even think I wore any of my casual outfits <laughs> for um formal outfits they did recommend to have like one or two especially if you plan um, on campaigning if you don't plan on campaigning which I would strongly recommend everyone to campaign. One thing that they definitely drilled into our heads is that um, if you're thinking about running, run. Of course, I had intentions to run um, for um, treasurer ever since like I got there. <laughs> but um, you know, um, even if like you're not planning on running, something might like um, pique your interest while you're there. So you might as well just bring a few formal outfits. I recommend about four or five um because at least for hours we had the press conference and the final speech in the same day so um i don't know if that'll work the same for everybody's but um i would recommend four because if you have your speech in the press conference in different days then it's press conference final speech inauguration and the awards um you don't really have to dress too uptight to the awards but you know i just I just like to dress up so i had an extra formal outfit for that and then you might want to have like a few extras in case something happens to one of your formal outfits or you know you're feeling one thing one day you're not feeling something the other day you know um just in case of an emergency and um, in case you change your mind but talking about running, right? Running um, is definitely good exposure and a really great experience. Like if you're thinking about running for something, run. Just just do it. Like the worst thing that could happen is that you could lose, yes, but you'll never see these people again. And you'll never um, probably meet any people again because they pull you from like everywhere, in Massachusetts at least, because I went to Massachusetts girl state. Like, um, there are people from West, Central, people from places in Massachusetts that I didn't even know existed. And we'll probably never see each other again. I did, however, make a few friends. And um, we're probably going to be, like, love friends. Like, we have a whole, a whole group chat and we talk every day and stuff. But, like, you know, like, I feel like I'm just trying to say that, like, 
fear shouldn't be the reason why you don't run because I literally have stage fright. Um, those speeches were not easy, let me tell you that. They were um, a little bit nerve-wracking, but I eventually got through it, you know? I feel like it's good exposure and it's good experience. So if you're thinking about running, you should definitely run for something, which is why I always say um, just to bring a few extra outfits, like just in case, like you might not go with the intention of running, but you might want to run in the end. Okay, so final thing before we get into the vlog. Some of my footage, I don't know, it disappeared into like thin air. So we kind of start the vlog at um, IHOP already. And um, I'm already like talking, like I've already introduced the fact that, oh, we already drove two hours away from home and I'm going to this college and we're doing girl status stuff. So um, let's just all ignore that and let's just keep it pushing. But without further ado, um, thank you for listening to me. Um, please enjoy the vlog. Um, girl state was a great experience and I recommend it for everyone. Hey guys, so we made it to Easton and I managed to sign in. Um, <laughs> and I managed to sign in at the um, Stonehill College, I think it's called, right? Um, but you know, here's the thing, right? I forgot my pillows. Mm -hmm. um, they're they're in my room just chilling right now, and I was about to bring them down, but then for some reason I didn't. So um, we have to go and buy new pillows. So that's great, and we also need hangers. So um, this is on me. <laughs> this is on me. I thought that I brought it, and and, and then I didn't. So um, she took too much daddy pillow, and she forgot and stuff. Dad, tell tell him, tell him, tell him the truth. Dad, I thought you didn't want to be in the YouTube video. Why? Who's you doing there? I'll, I'll put you inside. Hey. <laughs> Okay, so we finished eating. Um, luckily, there was a Burlington, like, right there. I don't know if y'all can see it. Um, there's a Burlington, like, right there. So, I'm gonna go and um, buy these pillows that I forgot. <laughs> and then I also need some hangers. I'm gonna buy those.
peacock just sounds different. I don't know, it's not like some of you people. I know a girl like that. Go ahead. Do your thing. Do your thing. Y'all want to say hi to the vlog? Hi. <laughs> I'm eating. Hey guys, we're about to have a Mario Kart off. The Animal Crossing is on the Switch. Um, we're playing on my friend Alex's <laughs> Switch. Hey guys. And I'm going to beat everyone. Okay? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really? I'm a pro at this oh, game. Wow. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't I've know. Never I'm a pro. <laughs> We'll just put it on the winner and the biggest loser, okay? Okay, well, I'm not gonna lose. I know that. <laughs> Let's go. Do you want, like, other people in it? No. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they're, like, CC. Oh, where'd they go? Four races, no teams, normal items. Hey, car? Uh, uh, no. no. All right. Carts? Carts only? Okay, uh, in order? Yeah. Random. Random. Then four or like is there less? Maybe like three. Yeah, three. Right? three. Hey, six. Hey, six. where am I going? Can you uh, feel less than four? Six, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty-four, thirty-two, forty-eight. I'm trying to okay. four. Ah. Oh. Okay. Then. Then. Okay. So it's down to go, right? It's down to go. Yeah. No. 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 Uh. Uh. Okay. Uh, 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 hey. This one. Whatever's on the right. Yeah, whatever's on the right. What did, did this do anything? And hey, this steering. is this when you move. Like you steer back, forth. Oh, you don't do this? No. no. I mean, you can set it to be like that, but, but it, yeah, it's not really good. Yeah. It gets kind of annoying. That's how you don't believe it. Bro, I get. Oh, I, I know which one I am. Wait, which one am I? I don't, okay, you're Wait. in the corner, the top right. I was like, they're all corners, bro. What are you talking about? Stop. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Where is. I, I thought that I said no, um, no thing. No. I literally can't see. How do I? What is this button? Maybe that we're all up close. <laughs> Yoshi. Me. Who's um Rosalina? Yoshi. Koopa Troopa. I don't know who that is. <laughs> don't play with me. What did I say? Stop, stop, what did I stop, say? Stop, stop. <laughs> That's what? cheating. That's cheating. We're cheating lower guard. <laughs> So guys, look at that. We should have named the things because now it's like hard to explain. Anyways, I'm the villager from Animal Crossing. Rosalina? Rosalina. Rosalina is Leah. Yoshi is Alex. Koopa Troopa is Rachel. Anyways, is that a gold cup or is that like a silver cup? I can't even tell. Gold. Her. But anyways, you, all that on matters. My switch, on my switch too. Because <laughs> my switch would update. Anyway, all that matters is that I won. Because in the end, all that matters in the world is be winning. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Hey guys, it's day two of Girls' Day. Um, yesterday night, I, I didn't really vlog that much because we were, we were all very, very tired. Um, we stayed up until like 10.30 going over these gen ed things and doing these questions and stuff and everyone was just drained. But it's day two. It is 7.29 in the morning. And um, at 8, we're about to head over to one of the campus buildings to eat breakfast. So I'll vlog that.
and your senator is Rachel. <laughs> your representatives are Alex. Woo! That was a little delayed. I was like, are we going to wait for all the Emily. names? subject and um, money and finance is like a really big interest to me so that's why I want to run for executive branch treasurer I want to represent all of you and um, I feel like with this position I would really be able to get everyone's voices out there so vote for me please. <laughs> all right so um federalist um, orange orange shirt yellow tag federalist um, Meetings are over, and I was running uncontested, and I was so nervous for like no reason. But now we're um, making posters for my campaign, and my good friends that I just met like literally yesterday. It's been 24 hours. Actually. Yeah, it's been. It's been 24 hours. I was about to say less than 24 hours ago. My good friends that I just made like 24 hours ago, give or take, are helping me make the posters and setting up. So that's what we're doing right now. Okay, so we finished making the posters and I started like hanging some around. Um, this one on the wall right here is the one that my friend Nat made. It's just to vote for Brianna and then the money because I'm going for treasure and stuff. It has my YouTube and Instagram handles because there's not really much time for people to get to know me in this. So if they watch my YouTube channel, especially my first video um, and see like who I am, what my personality is, my favorite stuff, and then like my Instagram to see what the heck I look like because you're just voting for names at this point. You need to like attach a face to the name and my Instagram has pictures of me. the dining hall, the place where all the masses go. So I'm gonna work up like four posters for the dining hall and theater and stuff. So I'll probably recap when we go for lunch. 
Y'all, apparently we can go to Notre Dame, which is like the opposite dorm of ours. So you better believe that I made more posters to spread my influence, cause what? No, I'm winning this. Banya. Hi. <laughs> Rachel. Rachel. Sam. I'm Leah. And y'all already know who I am, so I'm happy to be right here. This is a campaign battle scar. <laughs> um, you know when you like um use marker and it like gets like everywhere somehow? Yeah, that's what that, I don't I don't know how it got there. But um yeah, that's the end of day two, and I'll continue with day three in the morning. Also, a little update. Um, we we like um. We, we made up some rules for the cities and stuff, and now I am scheduling supervisors. So now I tell people like, oh, um, this is like the time for this. So we have breakfast from 8 to 8.45 every morning. Actually, no, it's like uh, shortened tomorrow because we have an assembly or something, right? So I keep ahead of those types of things. And in the group chat that we all have in the group, um, I'm like, okay, guys, um, we have to leave at so-and-so time. So it would be advisable to wake up at this time, get ready by this time, and it's mandatory for us all to meet by this time so that in 15 to 10 minutes we can walk from this building to the next building and be on time type stuff. So um, I'm excited about that because like it actually seems like a really fun role and um, I enjoy organizing things and people, I guess. <laughs> but my run for treasurer is still going and let's just say I have a good feeling about it. Um, I hope it goes well. Hey guys, it's um, day three. We all just got up and like I said, my job as the um, scheduling supervisor, I'm, not, I'm really not sure it rolls off the tongue that well, but my job as the scheduling supervisor is just make sure that everyone is staying on time and we're supposed to meet at town hall um, in about um, five minutes and then head over to breakfast. I don't like, I think this is going to be like the last day that I'm like vlogging like the um, meal plans and stuff because I'm not sure you need to see like the food every day. It's more or less the same thing. I mean, we have different stuff every day, but like I feel like people generally get the idea and I can <laughs> stop putting food everywhere every five seconds because I know that that even annoys people sometimes. Um, so yeah, when we head over to breakfast, I'll um, show you guys the food that we're eating and we'll carry on from there. So guys with my speech, um, I did the best that I could. I don't know, I'm like the type of person that's like, you know, like one-to-one -one conversations that I, I, I can do, right? But like when it's in front of like a bunch of people, for some reason, I'm a little terrified. And it's like, I'll never see these girls again, you know? <laughs> After I get, if I get elected treasurer for like two days or something, like I'll never see these people again. So I don't understand like why I'm so nervous. Like, I, I really tried to like break it down because most people are, are like nervous because they're like, oh, they're making fun of me, they're laughing, but like that doesn't even really matter to me. I post videos of myself on the internet. Like <laughs> people are going to laugh and people are going to have um, comments or whatever that I'm probably not gonna like. Um, but I did my best. Um, there was a slight pause in the middle. Not slight. That was a pretty long pause. Like when I look back at the footage, I was like, <laughs> um, 
but um our town just voted all the other towns are gonna vote so um our city we have a city i just voted and all the other cities are gonna vote so um, hopefully it went well because then if it went well i'm gonna even think about it like do i even want to win because if it goes well tomorrow i have to give her uh, another speech in front of like an audience twice as big but um i'm going to do my best um and i did my best today um at the end of the day we just do what we can so um yeah um we're in free time right now and i have some last minute assignments to do uh for school so i'm gonna do that um and i'll vlog dinner this is probably going to be the last dinner vlog because like i feel like i don't need to sh show the food every five seconds you know as for now see y'all at about six yeah because that's when dinner starts Finals and then tomorrow's finals, finals. So yeah. this is before we find out. How confident do you feel? Um, I feel okay. I don't know. We'll see. She's running for Secretary of State. Y'all better win. Y'all better win. Y'all better win. Um, because if y'all don't, there's gonna be some problem. There's gonna be. Um, I I think it's really 50 50 here. I think it's 50 50 honestly. But um, if I win, that's great. If I don't, um. Well, that's not good. <laughs> we'll see. Uh -huh. All right, folks. The moment you have been waiting for. So first, we have Tasia from the Federalist Party here to announce the constitutional officers from the Federalist Party. <laughs> Oh, 
the moment you've yes, all been waiting you got for. Yes, we got you. We have had many tiebreakers. Three. And congratulations to both candidates. The governor is not me. Four. The Nationalist Party. It's Faith Lee. Oh my gosh, my blizzard. Hello, Sydney! Oh, Karen! Oh, There's not much space to go here. Karen! Sydney and Karen! Welcome to our Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry about your. I'm running for treasurer, my name is Brianna. I'm Banya, and I'm running for Secretary of State. I'm Annika, I'm running for Attorney General. My name is Shabali, and I'm running for Lieutenant Governor. And I'm Ali, and I'm running for Governor. Woo! 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 And, you know, while running, I plan to supervise my fellow uh, teammates over here. Um, but, yeah, I just keep everything in line. Really, my position is about supervising, maintaining those financial assets. And I feel like my personality would be the best way to do that. And I also want to work for all of you guys as well. My motivation for running, finance is a passion of mine, and being treasurer is just, um, it sounds really like a really interesting position. And if I were to get the position, I would definitely make sure to listen to all of you and make the changes that you wanted to make, especially that bill about how there's um, uh, uneven funding between like football teams and like the art programs and stuff like that. Distribution of funds in that way really irks me, so I want equality for everyone. I want equal opportunity for everyone. Yeah. Okay, um, as American citizens, we all know that we have such a lucky opportunity to cast our votes. And as Secretary of State, my job is to make sure that every vote is counted right, every vote's, everyone's vote is accounted for, and that we're doing elections in a fair way. And that truly means a lot to me because I want all of your voices to count and all of your ballots to be counted. And I want you to trust the person who is counting your ballots. Um, Attorney General is basically being the people's lawyer and I that kind of ties into criminal justice and I feel very passionately about uh, criminal justice, like that I want to do something in that field. Um, if I were to win this position, I think I would do a very good job at um, hearing the people's voices, making sure everyone has a, a free trial and equal voice. Uh, my motivation for running is really just the people. I'm interested in why we have so much inequality and really what we can do to fix that, and I guess that leads into what I would do if I was elected. Um, I would really help to support and embody the governor's agenda, but also challenge it when it's not right for you and what you need. Um, I'm going to say that's a yeah. like, corner's not it for me. Um, <laughs> so my motivation for running is I want to test the limits of our government. I hate like our government now we don't test limits well i don't hate our government now that was the <laughs> what i mean is there needs to be changes for all people and that's why i'm motivated to run um my plan if elected is to make those changes and to listen to what every individual people need so you guys um that is my plan that was all right. What makes you unique from your other candidate, the other candidates for this position? Like that would make us want to vote. Right. Um. I just feel like my type A personality kind of fits this role. You know, I'm very strategic, um, kind of disciplined in that aspect, but I'm also outgoing. You know, uh, generous as well. I've been doing Special Olympics as a unified player for seven Ooh. years, and I'm an assistant coach for that as well. So I feel like I really know how to cooperate with people and you know, see like everyone's differences and stuff. I'm very goal oriented. Um, from the first day that we came here, I made my intentions clear that I wanted to be executive branch treasurer. I have, um, I have posters everywhere. I have one hanging over there. I have a couple in the lunchroom. So um, I feel like my ambition and um, my want to be treasurer is um, way more than um, the person running for me in the other party. And I feel like that's what sets me apart.
Yeah, overall, I feel like I'm a very caring person and I want to meet and talk to all of you all the time. And I feel like that really trends into my job also as I'm very organized. So counts and balance, making sure that everything runs smoothly is definitely like secondhand to me. Um, I feel that I'm most determined and passionate about this and I feel that I would be the one to do it well and do it correctly. Um, well, I feel like I can say this for all of us, but our party is running on, we're for the people, so we're running for you and we want to hear what you guys want. Um, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um, I'm not going to take away from anything that Faith has going for her, honestly. We both have attributes that would be fantastic for governor. Um, for me and for you guys, it's not about, like, I, no. I believe that I should be governor because I really want to work for you guys just as my party does. Um, I want to lead and I want to make change, and if that fits for you guys, then I would be the best candidate to do so. Do you have a question? Those? Yeah, I actually have two questions. So this first Seven one seconds. is... What? Oh, okay, so this first, then I'll just ask this first one. Um, this is directed to both the treasurer and the uh, governor. How will small businesses adapt to the sudden like increase of um, the minimum wage? One of you answer. Do you want to, governor? Governor. Okay. Um, so that's a fantastic question. Um, it's very debated, and we don't have like a final answer yet. We need to discuss that with the house, and we need to hear the people's opinion. Um, from what we've already discussed, it's going to be probably handicapped for small businesses. So um, the minimum wage increase will be gradual. We don't want to make it a giant leap because that's not setting our businesses up for success. Um, small businesses who can't make that leap, um, we will have a handicap for them to make sure that they're also successful. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My town. Okay. Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Democracy. Okay. I am Leah, auditor. I'm Brianna, and I'm running for treasurer. I'm Banya, and I'm secretary of state. I'm Annika, I'm running for attorney general. I'm Shabali, lieutenant governor. And I'm Mallory, running for governor. Can we single people out? Yes. Go for it. Okay, Leah, would you rather have a Porsche on a porch or a porch on a porch? Oh, a porch on a porch. Why? Yes. Well, I got to have the car and the porch in one. And I can, like, hang out on the porch and drive my car off the porch, like in a movie scene. Yeah, Thank you, Leah. Yes. This is kind of like for all of you, I guess. Like, what what was your like bill you were most passionate about? Leah, you can start. Ooh, mine was the one about technology and the four different divisions, the M slot one. Mine was the one about um, minimum wage. Yes, mine was about voter, just because Secretary of State deals with ballots and things like that. So that one was really interesting. Mine was about the political flags. Uh, mine was also a voter. I feel like you guys know that because I brought it up like when talking about it. Yeah. 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 But like, I'm really passionate about like making sure everyone feels represented. Yeah. Um, mine had to be minimum wage as well. Mm -hmm. Minimum wage. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. For the minimum wage month, can you guys just like speak yeah. to you? Just like really quickly, oh. just like yeah. um, for whoever said it, I think it was. Me and Bonnie the governor. And, yeah. Or, no, it was. Brianna. Okay. okay. Um, can you just like really quickly just state your platform on that? Because I know people are going a lot of ways. Do you want me to go first? Mm -hmm. Okay, so for the minimum wage one, um, I believe that $25 is a bit of a drastic increase, but I do believe that um, we could implement a system where we could increase it. Like um, right now, Massachusetts is going up by like 75 cents a year. Maybe we could boost that to $1 or $1.25 and slowly increase the minimum wage because a drastic change like that would cause money to be virtually useless and would cause a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. um, I totally agree with that. Um, everything that she just said, and I'm building off of that, um, I am passionate about about it because I believe people should be able to live off the minimum wage and as of right now I don't think that that's very attainable or realistic um, so I want to see change however it has to be a realistic one. Thank you. For all of you. So when you first came to Girl State did you like plan on running for anything in general or like was there like something to say like oh I'll be like oh, I'm not really good. and then like you ended up like, like running for like a state office? 
Oh no, I was inspired when I got here. This clerk position took off. And now, here I am. Yeah. Yeah. From like literally the first hour that we went into town hall in my place, you can literally ask Vanya. I was like, I'm gonna run to be the executive branch treasurer because yeah. I'm treasurer um, at my NHS society. So, yes, I knew I wanted to be involved, but I wasn't really sure how. So I just like kind of looked around the first few days, and then just seeing like the role of the Secretary of State, I just feel like it fit me very well and like what I believe and things that I want to push. So that's why I ran for this position. Um. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really want to, but I read into, like I kept listening to Jess who was talking about like run for whatever, just do it, and I was like, you know, maybe I'll, maybe I should get involved, and I read through them and I thought uh, Attorney General was, sounded really interesting, and I, um, I decided to do it. Thank you, Tony! Thank you! Thank you. Hey y'all, it's day four, I almost said day five. It's day four, um, Tuesday, and yesterday, as y'all saw in the previous clips, we made it to finals! <laughs> um, so I just know that I did not come this far to lose. So I'm giving my all in this speech. Um, I know that y'all have seen the two previous speeches. They weren't, um, they weren't like all that. But you know, this speech, I'm really, I'm bringing the heat, I think, hopefully, unless I get stage fright in the middle of it and I just like cancel all my plans that I have. But um, I think that this speech will go really, really well. And I think that we might end tonight in a victory, but I don't want to jinx it. Um, a lot of people from my town, um, my city, Tolerance is a city. <laughs> a lot of people from my city even are um, uh, involved in the elections right now. Like our um, next door neighbor, dorm neighbor person um, running for secretary of state. And we have two more down the hall running for, one for treasurer actually. So even if I lose, <laughs> even if I lose, um, there's going to be still be um, people from our city representing in the um, state election. So hopefully it goes well for us tonight. I think that it will. I really, I, I think that it will. I've campaigned so hard um, compared to my opponent, who's really my friend. Like, it's so hard to, like, run against people because, like, girls stay. Like, I have to say, like, everyone is so polite and everyone's so nice. And it's hard to be, like, you know, like, want to win. Well, I mean, I want to win. <laughs> but it's hard because, like, everyone's so nice and you become friends with everyone, especially when they're in your own, like, um, city and stuff. So I wish luck to everyone, honestly. I wish luck to everyone. Um, we all worked extremely hard to get here. We all wrote speeches. We all did a bunch of research on different um, municipal laws and, like, read up on the bills and stuff. The way that we answered the questions was very, very nice. So um, I wish luck to everyone, honestly. But... I have no intention to lose. <laughs> how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Well, Auditor, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. <sighs> we're about to start the press conference, guys, and then we're about to do speeches. As soon as Nat comes in, I'm going to give the camera to her so that she can record me doing my speech, hopefully. We're but... just going to do good. <laughs> Y'all seen the last two clips. Speeches are not exactly my best, but... Um, the whole whistle down that we did yesterday and the press conference today, I can speak to people directly. So, um, um, hopefully, like, like they saw that and it just pushes through the terrible speech that I'm about to give. Because the words are good. It's the delivery that I'm worried about. But anyways, we got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. Yes. Okay. Um, what is your stance on funding any on the funding inequality for high school sports teams and how would you correct it? Absolutely, thank you for the question. Um, the funding inequality is extremely unacceptable. My party runs on an equality campaign. I believe that everyone deserves the same opportunities. Therefore, um, certain sports teams in high school settings should not be having more funding than other kids in art systems. Um, as um, my party candidates have said, Education is one of the most important things in our platform. Therefore, um, education is supposed to give equal opportunities to everyone, even when it has to come to sports and extracurricular activities and such. It is not fair to all <laughs> if there is favoritism in the system. Therefore, I do not believe that sports teams or certain extracurricular, extracurricular activities should have more money than others. Thank you. surrounding their legitimacy and ability to improve the health of patients. Do you plan to address their concerns, and why or why not? I'm sorry, could you please repeat the 
the question? <laughs> of course. Would you prioritize funding for children's rehabilitation programs that have undergone controversy surrounding their legitimacy and ability, and ability to improve the health of patients? Do you plan to address these concerns and why or why not? I would plan to address any concerns regarding children's rehabilitation programs that are not working. I know that there are a bunch of uh, programs that are under the name of rehabilitation programs that do not truly help the children in any way. Instead, um, as the governor of um, National Party said, they inhibit their growth. They, um, oh, sorry. <laughs> they um, make them a shell of their true self, and they don't allow them to be themselves. So therefore, I would address the concerns, and I would instead focus the funding elsewhere to places that actually do want to help children, do want to have them express themselves, instead of trying to suppress what they feel and what they want to do. by restating what these are. Children rehabilitation. Um, yes, this question is very important to me because it reminds me of a conversation that me and my history teacher had in a classroom for the class system of racism, which is not something that is often taught in our school systems. So I think that to help this problem and even eradicate it, we need to invest in the education system. Um, the conversation with my history teacher was one talking about how most white um, people <laughs> that um, live in the Boston area especially, um, he was actually um, directly sourcing that, in the Boston area, own multiple properties and have thousands of dollars to their name. The poll um, that he looked at said that most people of color in Boston had an average of eight dollars to their name. This issue is unacceptable. Education is how we fix this problem. And we need to educate everyone on the effects of Racism, because people believe that it's still not <coughs> and clearly by the statistics that you just um, announced to all of us, it is still a thing. So I think that we need to invest in the education system, teach more about systemic racism, and educate our people of color in order for them to graduate and go to college and obtain better jobs. Thank you. All right, this next question, we're going to start with the Secretary of State of the Federalists. See these bags under my eyes. Yeah. It, it's been a long day. I didn't realize how burnt out that I was after the press conference. I mean, like I knew I was burnt out, but I didn't know. I didn't realize I was that burnt out. But um, this is the end of day four. So, yay. <laughs> um, it's not even like everything is like that exhausting. It's just like everything's like, extremely tedious because everyone in my group it's like we're so extensive about our policies and stuff when we're going over town scenarios and it's like we all want to make change we all want equity we're trying to make like the best decisions possible but nothing can be perfect we're, we're trying to get close to it it's just it takes a while but um we voted which when we began voting my name was not on the ballot they had to fix it but anyways they eventually fixed it uh, we're gonna find out tomorrow and for y'all, it's probably going to be about like 30 seconds because in the morning I'm probably about to make an intro. And then y'all probably won't see me until we're finding out who won, which we'll find out until 11 in the morning tomorrow. It's like, can y'all see that? 9.53 right now. So in about 12 hours, 13, give or take, I'm going to find out. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> In about 12 hours, 13, give or take, I'm going to find out if I actually made treasure. Which, hopefully I did. So, yeah. Um, till tomorrow. I'm gonna go pass out. Hey guys, this is day... Five. This is day five. I kind of lost track of time. I think that everyone here just loses track of time because every day feels like the same or like it's been like weeks instead of like days. But um, we are heading to the Petit Atrium. I don't know. There's a bunch of weird names in this college to um, to um, have our electives, and we'll find out about the constitutional officers 
until 11 so I'm ready for that and when that comes I'll vlog that fully explain like how this process works either right so like basically right for girls state we have like the federalist and the nationalist party instead of like democrat republican you can kind of think of it as democrat republican but like we're not really like as conservative and like democratic type stuff um conservative and liberal that's the word um we all kind of equally have like the same views of like equity and like justice and education and for the people by the people type thing so um i guess our parties aren't that different but i was like the only federalist that was elected everybody else is a nationalist right i don't think i, I ever explained the full process but um in the previous clips like you saw you've you've seen me give three speeches right um the first speech is like you have to be elected by your county right um so my county was all the federalists in the core building which um, in, the, in the campus there are two buildings, the core building and the Notre Dame building. Um, my county was all the Federalists in the core building, so four towns, because in total there are eight towns. I had to win their nomination, which I ran uncontested, so yeah, <laughs> I, I won their nomination. Um, each county had to like elect someone, um, even if they didn't want to do it, I guess. Um, there, there had to be someone elected to be um, in each position of auditor, treasurer, treasurer, what's the next one, secretary of state, um, attorney general, lieutenant governor, and governor, right? So the first time I ran uncontested, the second time I had an opponent, which I um, clearly beat because <laughs> I'm here today. And then the third one, because um, after I, I won the second one, I was the official nominee of the entire Federalist Party because in both counties, there are only two counties, both counties had elected me as their treasurer. So I was like on like the Federalist ticket. It's like when um, a Democrat wins like the, the Democratic Party nomination and then they, they go against the Republican. So now I was against the Nationalist Party ticket, which is the final, um, which, which was the final, final ticket. It's like, 
I explained that semifinals and finals, but I'm not sure what's behind b before that. But I, I think that everyone understands what's going on here at this point. Um, but yeah, in the finals of the um, election, I managed to win um, against the Nationalist Party um, person. I think that um, the whistle downs and the press conference really, really helped me because I wasn't like fully prepared, but I think that like. I, I spoke really really well and everyone like was talking to me about oh my god you did so good this and that so um, you won and now we're treasurer elect until we are sworn in at 7:30 today at the inauguration um so yes yeah, what's going on we have to go and take down our signs actually um we don't have to I guess but like you know like like there's no point in them being there anymore everyone already voted so at this point yeah but um out of like I, I feel proud of myself you know out of my entire party i was the only person um that was um able to win the ticket not on the other side i mean I'm, I'm a federalist and a party bunch of nationalists but like i said we all have similar views so it doesn't really like it's not really like like that much but i just wish that there was someone from like my side there but no everyone is great everyone from there um everyone from there is great too um when it came to their speeches and their reasoning and stuff like everyone deserved to win and everyone who didn't win like we all put, brought our A-game and the people have spoken <laughs> at this point. Everyone did their best, so I'm proud of everyone. But um, we're going to go take down our posters um, and then I'm probably not going to come back until inauguration, which we have to be sworn in and stuff. I'm not sure how, I'm not sure how they're going to do like the swearing in process, but I guess we'll find out. I don't know if I have to hold my hand to a Bible and be like, I solemnly swear to be the best treasure ever, so help me God. <laughs>
Hey y'all, so we outside and on the grass right now. Um, I didn't really film that much yesterday because it was the inauguration and everything. I was busy like being inaugurated. I mean like I got someone to record the entire ceremony and stuff, but I'm saying like we didn't have much like one on one time because let me tell you it was exhausting. Um it was I, I was so tired by the end of the night. I, I couldn't even do anything. I'm still tired today. I have like jet lag from yesterday. But today is um today's day five and we're not really doing much today. It's really like the same old, same old. Um Today is the last full day, though. Today's the last full day where we like sleep here and everything. Uh, tomorrow, the awards, the awards are supposed to be at 10:15. After 10:15, I don't think that they'll take longer than an hour. So probably like by 12 or something, we'll be being picked up, and that's gonna be the end of girl state. I might try to get like a clip of all the girls in my town, and try to like you know everyone talk about their girl state experience because it was actually really, really fun. It was a really, really fun experience. We met a lot of like great people, and. Um, yeah, I'll try to see if I can get that for y'all because like maybe it's just coming from me is like not enough Maybe you need to see like the whole group collectively, but all the girls are so nice Everyone's like so supportive of each other and it's just it's it's different, you know, it's different here. So um, Yeah I tracked, but much to my surprise, while I thought the bathroom would be empty, I was met with pairs of eyes. <laughs> so I ran upstairs to the second floor where the bathrooms would be unopposed until Marley and Liz told me with great dismay that the second floor bathrooms were closed. closed. Oh. <laughs> I dashed down the stairs at record speed and through the doors while my stomach still hurt where I run into Jess and Jenna who say, try the bathrooms of Merkard. Ah, uh, yes, the bathroom near the gym that we didn't use this year. When I saw this beautiful sight, I almost shed a tear. As I opened the door to peek inside, I started to look around. And much to my great delight, there was not a single person to be found. Hey y'all, it's day seven, the last day. We're walking to our electives right now. We all had a really good breakfast and then everyone else is walking in front of me right now because I'm taking time to shoot the film for y'all. Okay, not the film, the, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, the last day, we all just had breakfast. We're all heading to our last elective, our last everything. Um, I'll probably most likely film more at um, awards than anything. So y'all won't see me until then, but yeah, we're just really taking time to like um, enjoy each other's presence while we still have it, you know? Guys, this is our last um, exercise. This is my last exercise. <laughs> yeah, we used to hate this walk, especially at 10.45 p.m. at night when we're coming yeah. up this hill. And now we're gonna miss it. Okay, sorry.
I would like to invite our 2021 governor, Faith Letarte, to come yeah. down. Constitutional officers, so that we may present your medals. Woo! Woo! Oh my God! It's already recording. Okay. Yeah. Hey guys. Hey. It's gonna be really weird presenting it to myself. So if someone wants to yell, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First up, drum roll, please. Auditor Amaya. Yeah. Um, also, happy late birthday. We love you. And next up, we have Attorney General. She's your fella, Stella! on the spot like I am right now. <laughs> and I was nervous once again, but I did it. And honestly, I think at the beginning, Jess said, if you're thinking of running, run. And that was the best advice I would probably say I've given at this weekly Girls' Day event. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who voted or supported me alongside and just all these girls are so kind and you are all so welcoming so good for you guys round of applause Woo! 
And uh, yeah, it's really just, you guys make this program possible and you guys voted for me and just everyone was supporting me by my side. I just want to say thank you for that. Yes, And my city is all right. governor of Massachusetts Girls State and when I heard that I was supposed to give a farewell address all I can think of was Washington's farewell address. I don't know if y'all are Hamilton fans but you know when they sing it. Yeah. 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 And so I was just thinking about it and like I know a lot of people here have like taken a push and you know are passionate about history and if you can remember one thing about Washington's farewell address it was very like warning. Like warning you shouldn't break into parties you shouldn't have foreign affairs all that. So I'm going to give you guys a warning. There are going to be people, uh, particularly men, <laughs> um, who, <laughs> who are going to hate seeing you succeed. They're going to hate um, seeing you as a strong, independent woman in power. And what do you have to say to that? Bye. No, we are not letting that happen. Because I will tell you something. The girls who are in this room right now are the most incredible, inspirational, strong girls I have ever met. So give yourself a round of applause. didn't have the opportunity of meeting all of you, I would not have run for this position. It was you guys who made me so inspired. Um, specifically, Hometown Unity, have to shout them out. Um, and yeah, you just have to not let like anyone tell you what to do. Um, you guys are a bunch of badasses, excuse my language, um, <laughs> and you are going to succeed in whatever you do. And um, I want um, everyone when they're going to college to tell me exactly what they're doing, hit my DM. Um, if you need the Insta, just let me know. If you have my number, just text me because I need to see where all of you go. Someone here is gonna be the first female president of the United States, no doubt. Um, that is the president of the United States. Um, I think Massachusetts girls state deserves a show though. So. <laughs> Long. I wanted to make it quick because I know we all want to go sleep in our own beds tonight. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But it was an honor and a pleasure serving you guys, and I love you all, and thank you again. We love you. My experience, but because of the beautiful, radical, smart women standing to my left, we all had the best week of our lives. Please give it up for the staff members. And I never cry. By listening to sad music. It's recording, right? Yeah, it is recording. We all signed each other's yeah. shirts. I have a sign. Oh my god, guys, we really have to talk about this. Do you guys want to like come back and stuff? <laughs> no, I do not. Go government camp! Government camp! Yeah. 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 It is. <laughs> Hey, besties. <laughs> <laughs> but we're never about to see each other again. I will. We're never gonna see each other again. Oh my gosh. I don't wanna leave. Where do you live? That's 
Where do you live? <laughs> 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 we can carpool. <laughs> you can sit here. Yeah, like, wait, wait, wait. How many of you guys are coming back? How many of you guys are coming back next year? I would like right. Maybe I don't know. What? Just you? Oh yeah, if it's future girls, like girls watching it. Yeah, like, oh, and then they'll be like, oh my god, our counselors. I don't think so, I think she's packing. No one leave without telling us, I know. Yeah. Okay? So you guys okay. want to throw these in the dryer? My dad is still not outside. Yeah. Oh, that's so smart. Okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? In the video. Put your shirts in the dryer it's when you get home to keep the Sharpie in it. Put it in the dryer? Leah's smart. Hey, I gotta take this off. It should just like seal it in there. I'm gonna keep it. We can keep it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I'm gonna throw it to the door. Can I get air? Yeah. Tolerate. This is laminated. We got in a lot of trouble, but still. You know, we were the fun town. We were the fun town. We were. Yeah, eventually. It took time. And we got our leadership positions. Where did they go? We went from the least liked to the most liked. Hey, hey, look. The treasurer, the treasurer, and the, and the lieutenant governor. Lieutenant governor. All right, everyone. Oh, you live in Vanya? Oh my God. Okay. Can people like scream with? Bye. So um, I didn't get like anything of like 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 getting outside and like the space and stuff, but um, we made it. Um, it was like it was like almost like a two-hour drive. I think we made it like an hour and a half, honestly. But um, yeah, that's the end of the vlog. Girl State was great. I made a bunch of new friends. We're all texting in this group chat right now, saying how much we miss each other, and some people are saying that they're crying on the way home. But um, yeah, Girl State was really, really fun. So. I mean, y'all ask me, like, I would definitely recommend it to anyone. It's a great experience. Um, and, you know, you you get that college experience before, like, you, like, go to college and stuff. I mean, we only stayed there for, like, a week. But, you know, you had, like, a dorm room partner. You had to get along with a bunch of girls that you just met. And it was really fun, though. It was really fun. But um, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And um, thanks again.